and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Cooking's Ratatouille, cooked in the Tiefel Cook For Me. This is really simple to do, it's a guided recipe and it's absolutely foolproof. The ingredients are in the recipe box below, just go scabbing through the bottom of your crisper in your fridge and get out anything that you think should be used pretty quickly and you're well on the way to having some beautiful vegetables to be served with pasta, with baked potatoes or couscous or even with rice. So we've turned our Tiefel Cook For Me on and we're going to go to our recipes and select OK, go down to to ratatouille this is alphabetically listed you can change this around if you like you can even change the name of it if you like and you can also alter the number of serves that it actually makes okay they're calling this cumin ratatouille we're going to go to four persons preparation is four minutes it's an express recipe and cooking is five minutes it's saying to use frozen ratatouille which is red capsicum zucchinis eggplants passata cumin powder and chopped basil Okay, we've got some fresh basil there and we've got other vegetables that we're going to add and they're not frozen They're all fresh and we've got some cumin seeds for spice. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay Do I want to start the recipe? Yes, I do put the ingredients in the tank Okay, they're calling it the tank now. Do you want to start the cooking? Yes So it's saying just to pop all the ingredients in there. I'm going to add a glug of olive oil I'm going to add all of our vegetables. We've got garlic here just pull the skin off that because that's just going to turn into paper in the machine. Don't need to chop it up because it's going to be cooked long enough to be able to start breaking down. And also because I've smacked it to get the paper off it, it has already bruised and opened up a bit. So here it goes. Okay, onion in. Big chunks. Courgettes or zucchinis in. Chop the towel, they've already been washed. Goes in two. Eggplant. In. This will sop up all those delicious juices from the other vegetables because eggplants really like a sponge and it'll cook down and soften as well. This is a very young fresh eggplant so I don't need to salt it first. A couple of sprinkles of cumin seeds, not too many, don't want to overpower it. Capsicum or red bell pepper, pull that membrane out of the center of that because that can be quite bitter and of course lose the seeds. Chunk away. Half of our capsicum. Use tin tomatoes, use fresh tomatoes, use frozen tomatoes, use passata if you like. It doesn't really matter. We've got another onion here. And as you can see, this is really quite a low carb recipe. There's very little fat in it, just more for flavor than anything else really, because we're not gonna be actually frying it. And cooked tomato is very good for men. Apparently it assists with reducing the incidence of prostate cancer, prostate issues. So you're looking after the men in your family as well with this recipe. Pretty simple so far. I'm gonna do the basil last thing. Okay, tomatoes, in we go. Give this a stir around so that all the vegetables are all mixed in together. And don't use anything metal or sharp in your tea for cook for me. It's a very tough surface, but you don't wanna compromise its non-stick qualities because that will essentially make everything you cook in it pretty well from that point on, stick. Okay, basil goes in last thing because I don't want it to keep it nice and fresh. We're going to throw in some veggie salt and some freshly cracked pepper. So half a teaspoon of that'll be fine. And what's it, half a teaspoon of that too. I'll just go and crack some more of that. Give it a little swish around. Now, all of the vegetables here are, are quite moist vegetables. They are going to release a lot of fluid into this pan and that's going to help steam and cook it under pressure as well. Ingredients in the tank, yes. Start the cooking, yes. Close and bolt. The lid's bossy, isn't it? Okay, yes. And off we go, it's preheating. Now after about 10 or 15 minutes, depending on the size of the dish that you are making, the alarm will go off and the steam will release and you will not be able to open the lid until that steam is released and it's safe to do so. And then we're going to have a look inside. If there's too much liquid in there, if the vegetables have reduced right down, you can put it on the browning function and reduce some of that moisture. Okay, reveal time. Ready for the fog. Give it a little stir, all those vegetables are still intact and it smells absolutely divine. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put in the browning function and just reduce that moisture down a bit. So do you wanna stop the cooking? Yes, we do. And now we want to go to manual, yes. And we want to go to browning. And what'll happen now is it'll start to bubble away and the excess moisture will reduce away. And what that will do is intensify the flavor. At this point, the flavors are really quite diluted by this extra water that's 
in there or the juices that have come out of the vegetables but there's nothing else that's been added there and we just let it bubble away until it reaches the consistency that you're happy with depending on what you intend to do with it to how much moisture you want to reduce out of it and that's it super simple you can actually set this ahead if you want to and you've got a delicious midweek hearty meal low carb gluten free vegan ticks all the boxes health wise and it tastes absolutely delicious hope you enjoy this little cooking demonstration of cheeky richer cooking's tearful cook for me's cumin ratatouille if you'd like to see more recipes and ideas just check out our cheeky richer cooking channel and don't forget to please subscribe and do come back and visit us again soon we've got so much more to show you and we'll upload lots of videos thanks for watching okay we'll have a little taste shall we you can see our eggplant is sweated right down it's, it's boiling hot now i'm not going to put it in my mouth just now but we'll give it a taste mm. normally this would take ages on the stove you'd have to be there watching it and stirring it it's all done for you perfect everything is retained inside there prolonged cooking hasn't destroyed the nutrients that are present in the vegetables and it is delicious thanks for watching